Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. Let's talk about some new makeup releases. Now, I kind of just spent a whole bunch of time going through Instagram accounts like Makeup on Your Radar and Trend Mood One, and I was looking to see what's out there that's really kind of pulling me in. I also follow a lot of actual brand pages as well, or brand accounts, and, and the truth is, there's not a lot. And I think the ones that I'm talking about today, I don't know, this is when I feel like I either get like excited about things that your girl doesn't need, or I'm like, who asked for this? And I feel like we have a lot of that going on right now. Okay, so let's jump in. Um, first thing I wanted to talk about is Dolce & Gabbana, and I'm used to seeing Dolce & Gabbana fragrance or um, some of their ready to wear stuff or even their couture stuff. Like it's definitely a known brand and I love it, but have they been making cosmetics for a long time? I don't know. So I saw something that kind of surprised me. The first thing I saw, and it's already available, they have a new skin tint. It's their Blueberry Nutri Tint, and it's supposed to offer 24 hours of hydration, be uh, glowy, sheer, buildable coverage with a blurring effect, and I'm like, and I already feel like I have products that do this, like the new Lisa Eldridge skin tint, as well as the yummy skin from Danessa Myricks I just picked up. I haven't really been much of a skin tint person until I tried those two. I'm like, oh, these are good. And so now it's like, mm, I like this idea, but I don't know that I need a $52 version of this. Although the Lisa Eldridge one, she's 49. Like she's right up there. I feel like I already spent like half a hundred bucks. <laughs> on a skin tint. I don't need another one, but it was interesting. The other thing they have is their liquid lipstick. And I'm like, mm, what type of liquid lipstick is this? It's a soft matte moussey texture that is no transfer and long lasting. Okay. So the minute you tell me you're no transfer, I instantly flash back to 2015, 2016 with the, uh, you know, the KVD and the ColourPop and the uh, Dose of Colors, like the ones that, that impermeably couldn't move them. They were there, but they dried your lips out. And now that I'm 49, my lips cannot handle that. Not even a little bit. Now, when it says it's a soft, matte, moussey texture, I'm fine until we get to the no budge part. And they're $43. There's only nine shades. I don't know. And I, when you're developing a product, and you're coming out with shades. I thought the shades were nice, but this type of product is like, I don't wear liquid lips, that's not for me. It's very rare that I try a formula that's pigmented and kind of like a liquid lipstick, but they're always the ones that don't dry down because those are the comfortable ones. And the ones that are supposed to be budge proof, they're not for me. And there's a $39 lip oil. <laughs> it's their mint oil lip plumper. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be kind of like tingly and minty, but it's kind of like a really pretty clear blue, but I'm not spending $40 for a lip oil. I'm already having a hard time paying like 30 plus dollars for like one of my favorite ones from Clarins, but that's the one that I'm like, yeah, the, these things really aren't calling to me, but I could see where if you're a brand loyal person, it would be exactly what you're looking for. Or if you happen to be the sort of person who loves luxury beauty, these things might pull you in. All right, let's keep talking about Dolce & Gabbana because I saw a different post and it was not on Trend Mood. This one was on Makeup on Your Radar and uh, looks like they have blushes, bronzers, powder, and then they also have like a glow primer. And what's interesting is the blushes, I feel like these are really pretty and it comes down to what the formula is like. I feel like they probably need some bolder shades for richer skin tones. I feel like they definitely have like the fair light medium skin tones kind of really, they got us dialed in. But when you start getting to some deeper and richer skin tones, I don't know that some of these shades would work. I don't know, I haven't seen them in person. These guys are 50 bucks each. They look pretty, but I don't have to have them. I have so much blush blush coming out in my ears. Now the bronzer, I was like, mm, these look interesting. So there are five shades of bronzer. I feel like these colors are a little bit better when it comes to diversity. We've got that really fair color and a much deeper, darker color. Is there much of a difference between those last two shades? There might be in person, maybe one leans a little bit more red, but I'm, I don't know that there's a ton of difference. I would hope for something a little bit more. Maybe it's undertone, but these look interesting. I, of course, would be interested in the fair one, but the fair one, 
the color kind of reminds me of the Airbrush Flawless Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 01. And I love the formula, but the shade leans a little yellow and I always look a little bit sick when I wear it. So I, I don't wear it anymore. <laughs> but I love the packaging. Um, they look really beautiful and elegant. I just don't know that there's a shade here for me. And I'm not about to go and spend, you know, $54 and not get something that's really gonna be perfect. Their new powder also looks interesting. This is $52. It's a fig perfecting powder, but she's white. Now I can wear white powder because on my fair skin is great, but is this for everybody? And there's only this one shade that I see. This last item here, I was like, ooh, look at that highlight. But they're, they're actually calling it a Bergamot Glow Primer. $52. I love this beautifully over the top, like, ornate ornate compact is so pretty and the pan embossing is pretty but it, it this is a primer is this kind of like the new Danessa Myrick's glowing skin beautifier where you're supposed to put it down first and then put product on top I don't know this to me looks more like a highlight I could be wrong and out of anything this would be like the ooh, that's pretty but I need more highlight, like I need another hole in my head. So I don't know that I'm getting anything from Dolce & Gabbana, like their skin tint, their lip oil, their liquid lips, like they've got a lot of stuff, but I don't know that they're bringing anything that is so different from everybody else, especially from those luxury brands that really makes me want to have it. I don't know, if you have a different thought, let me know. Hourglass has come out with a new powder. And what's interesting is I feel like nobody does powder better than Hourglass, but this is not a glowy powder. And I'm used to seeing those glowy powders from Hourglass, like the Ambient Lighting Powder or the Veil Translucent Powder. Like there's a lot of beautiful, like their radiant blushes and highlights and bronzers, like you name it, they have it, but it's all got that kind of candlelight glow technology to it. So you look like a, um, not a flat or a matte version of yourself, but now they actually have their Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder. All right, it's $48 and it comes in a kind of a large compact. And I know it has like a little sponge applicator next to it. Okay, fine. Um, but there's five shades and I don't, I don't know. This looks interesting, but this is supposed to be touch up on the go, a non-drying formula to help absorb oil, minimize the look of pores and it should not settle into fine lines. And I'm always like, well, I would be the judge of that because the older I get, the more of my expression lines I have and makeup does settle in there. It, it happens. <laughs> it happens to me more than I would ever want it to. But these look interesting because the whole bit about them being non-drying, that's the one thing that I think keeps people from wearing powder who like me have more mature skin. If it, if it makes me look older or dry or kind of dusty, mm -mm, no, but we're coming into summer. So the idea of something that could, um, you know, set my makeup, keep me all in place, you know, be a little oil controlling, that sounds great, but I don't, I don't know. I love the Vanish concealer I have. I love so many other of the hourglass powders, but more the glowy version. Those, those tend to work for me, especially the older I get, they look really pretty on the skin. This is intriguing though, because I feel like hourglass has kind of made a name for themselves when it comes to products that sit beautifully on the skin. Um, so this is intriguing. I don't know that I have to have it. I'm not running out to buy it right now because I'm really happy with what I have in my powder collection at the moment. But these had me going, hmm, interesting, intriguing. All right, there's a lot of lip products. <laughs> some of them are like, what? And some of them are, are like this one. I don't understand why I am so intrigued by this. I have yet to try anything from Jones Road. I love Bobbi Brown um, as an artist. I love how she's helping us embrace you know, getting older and not trying to hide our wrinkles and just, hey, we're still beautiful. <laughs> I love that. But I have yet to try any Jones Road. But they just came out with their colored lippy sticks. Because originally, I think the only lipstick they had was the clear and it was like the original. And now they have all of these shades. It's a cushiony lip balm that locks in moisture, protects against the elements. It has a lot of um, plant-based ingredients in there and there's 11 tinted shades, 11 tinted shades, it's $22. Okay, but looking at these shades, these are the sorts of things that would be the perfect 
no makeup makeup sort of look or the I don't have time to put on a full face but I need a little color on my lips like this is a sort of thing and it and it, it it's a chapstick it's a beautiful elegant chapstick in chapstick packaging I don't know why this is calling to me because I feel like I'm kind of past the your girl doesn't really do chapstick anymore like all of my lip products are a little bit more bougie than that but there is something about this the white packaging the black sans serif lettering on there like the whole thing it is it makes me want them I don't I don't understand it I don't understand it because I want something you know with a doe foot applicator but this just looks like a no fuss I gotcha kind of product and $22, I don't know. Would you be interested in seeing me try like a smattering of products from Jones Road? I have always been interested in the Miracle Balm, um, in some of their other products. I've heard really good things about certain things and other ones like, nah, I don't know. But if you would be interested, let me know in the comment section down below. I've been really intrigued. This is the first thing in a long time that I've been like, hmm, interesting. And I know it's silly because it's just a tinted chapstick. But it, lo it looks, I don't know, it has me and it has pulled me in by the lapels and I'm like, I, I might need this. And so if I'm going to make a Jones Road order, should I get other stuff too? Let me know. There is no way I can convince myself that I need more lip products, but you know it's my weakness. So this was kind of interesting to me. YSL has come out with a new product. I don't know if it's out yet. It might already be. I don't know. I haven't. I've been like, stay away from Sephora. Stay away from Sephora. Um, but they have a new lip product. And this is one that me and my love affair with YSL lip products, I'm definitely going to get it. This is their new Love Shine Candy Glow Tinted Butter Balm. Okay. So first of all, I love the YSL lip products. I do like these new Love Shine. I love the Candy Glaze. I've been a huge fan of the Rouge Volupte Shine for a long time. This is kind of like their reboot of the Rouge Volupte Shine. But now they have this kind of balm. So the Candy Glaze is going to be more opaque. It's going to be thicker. It's going to have like a, a really heavy, well, not heavy, but it, it feels like you're wearing something. These guys are glossy and shiny and uh, really pretty, but they're kind of sheer these are the new love shines and these new love shine butter balms these are going to be even lighter weight kind of less color than these guys and they're like one step down from these so the candy glaze is like all the color all the shine these guys are in the middle and these new ones are kind of like a less is more sort of look but i want to know i want to know do i need it no but it's um it's described here as the ability to give your lips a natural, healthy, and juicy shine. Your lips should be immediately smoother, plumper, and fuller looking. It gives a slight splash of color and a translucent, glossy finish. And you can, of course, apply several layers to get more color, but it's supposed to contain like 85% nourishing ingredients. And and that to me, like the minute you're calling it a balm, it, it definitely seems more like treatment and not so much pigment like a traditional lipstick and i feel like this is an interesting place to be because a lot of people are wanting that but that idea of something that is luxe in beautiful packaging that you could easily you know just throw on that that's that's always what i want but i have a love affair with ysl lip products i really 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 like them and i think this would be right up my alley but this is not going to be like full pigment lipstick this is a kind of expensive <laughs> lip balm. I don't know what the price is for these yet. I don't see it anywhere in here, but I think they're likely gonna be like high 30s, low 40s, similar to these guys or to the Candy Glaze. Um, but I, I'm, I'm curious, there are six shades. They just look really pretty. Don't need it, definitely gonna try it. Okay, here's one that I was like, who asked for this? <laughs> and you are not the brand I think of when I think of lip products. This is Benefit. They have their new plush tint and splash tint lip tints. So they have a moisturizing matte lip tint for $24. It's supposed to be soft focus, blurring, velvety smooth, all day moisture, long wearing, lightweight, 12 shades. Okay, these sound exactly like the one from M Cosmetics. These guys, I love these. But I don't know why I would want to get one of the ones from Benefit. Like these are pretty, these don't dry down. Uh, they're moussey, they're comfortable, they're moisturizing. Fabulous, 
love these ones. I think they're the same price, like 24 bucks. But these, like the packaging, oh, really? And I feel like the colors are all the same. So they have the matte ones and then they have their Splash Dewy lip tints. Same price, $24. They're supposed to be kiss proof color. But the minute we're, we're talking a tint, I feel like that means that we're definitely gonna get some staining. I don't mind a product that stains as long as it doesn't sheer out and get kind of patchy on the lips. I don't like that where it's not as hydrating as it's supposed to be and I'll have like, you know, color clinging to a dry patch. I don't want that. And I don't know that these won't do this because every time I've worn one of the Benetint's um, in any of the colors, is it a tint? Yes. Does it work well? Yes. But there's no moisturizing properties with that. And once my lips get dry, the color clings to those dry flaky patches and it looks uneven and it's not pretty. So the fact that these are tints, it's a no. But also the shades, like they don't look that exciting. They kind of, a lot of them look the same. And this packaging, I hate, hate this packaging. And when I think of like lip products, I, I don't, think benefit. If I'm thinking brows or primers, I think benefit. And I, I don't know if they're trying to break out of that, but this is like a, really? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's how I feel about these. If you've tried these or you've seen these, what are your thoughts? Do these call to you? This to me is like a, no, not even. Here is one that really does kind of have me interested. And I haven't tried anything from this brand. It's available at Ulta. But uh, this is the Rabanne makeup line. They've got a new lipstick. And it's called the Rouge Rabanne Drama Lips Glassy, Ultra Shiny Glassy Lipstick. That's a lot of words. But it's supposed to be instant shine in one swipe, 11 colors. They have three that are supposed to be a shimmery pearly color and they have two finishes. So they have one that's kind of sheer and lightweight and kind of a little shimmery. And then these other ones that are like full on color color. Um, and for me, like the pictures of the ones that look kind of um, a little bit shimmery, I'm not really interested in that, but the images of the ones that are like bright, full on glossy color, those look interesting to me. Now, I don't know that I need to rush out and buy this because I just bought five new lip products during the Sephora sale and I've been kind of like hog wild with lip products. So I don't need this, but this is intriguing to me. This is the sort of thing that makes me go, I want to know. And is it going to be a, a beautiful, long wearing, comfortable product that's not going to go into all of my lip lines and end up places on my face where I don't need it? I don't want clown lips with this, but these colors look pretty. This formula looks interesting. I would be curious, have you tried anything from Rabanne Beauty? Do you think it's worth the time or money? And then if you've tried these lip products, what are your thoughts? These definitely had me going, oh, hello. All right, one that did not have me at all was like, excuse me? <laughs> all right, so Tom Ford has three new shades of the velvety lip color satin mattes. I don't know what the satin mattes are, I have like one of their lip colors. I have one of the matte lip colors and these satin matte, I don't know what these are. And the shape of the bullet is different than the ones that I have. So I don't have a lot of Tom Ford, but the price point for Tom Ford at $59 when I was buying lipstick several months ago, I was like, dude, that's a lot. Guess what? These three new shades are $67. An $8 price jump for a lipstick. And the formulation's not new, the packaging's not new, there's nothing different about these, it's just new colors. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I know all everybody's raising prices, I get that. I totally get that. But I don't know that there's enough of a luxurious experience for me to want out and run and buy one of these. I'm more likely to buy a different Chanel lipstick, even though Chanel doesn't have like the most luxe packaging. I'm more likely to um, pick up, for me, more Lisa Eldridge. Like there, there, there are other brands that bring luxury. I would rather get another Carolina Herrera lipstick. That one kind of surprised me, bowled me over. I was like, ooh, you're really good. I love this. I would get more YSL. And the price point is so much lower. $67, I'm just like, Dude, and I, I don't know, these, they look like typical colors, but I, I don't feel like there's anything special coming from Tom Ford. I feel like everything is kind of like 
it's just going in the food processor and it's coming out like, yeah, we did this before, we did this before, but let's mix these two things up and call it new. I don't know that there's anything here that makes me have to have it. Are the Tom Ford lip colors that I have nice? Yeah. Do I wear them? Yeah. But these are like a $67. I don't know. It, it doesn't do it for me. There are four new shades of the Pat McGrath Cream Blush. What is it called? The Divine Cream Blush. And it's a legendary glow color balm. Like, okay. <laughs> The names from the brand are always so long. I never remember them. I'm never, not, like if it's not before my eyes, I don't know. I never tried this. I love just the original one color um, Divine Blush. Like I have a couple of those. They're just so beautiful. They wear beautifully. I think the colors are beautiful. They're nuanced. They're perfect for me. So when they came out with the two-tone pans of the powder blush, not for me. I think some of the colors were definitely for skin tones other than my own. And then when they came out with these cream blush sticks, I was like, mm, I don't know. And maybe it's that pink plastic packaging. It's, you're going to hate me when I say this, but it reminds me of the packaging for the ColourPop cream blushes that come in those little plastic tubes that you twist up. I I don't know. That's what these remind me of. Now, there were some new colors. Um, I think the colors are pretty, uh, but the one that really kind of caught my eye made me go, ooh, that's interesting. Would it look good on me? Probably not. But the Alluring Nude, it looks kind of like a gray toned, like, purp it's not really purple and it's, I don't know, it's a really interesting shade of blush that I almost never see that looks interesting. I also like the electric bloom glow, like the really like bright tangerine shade that looks beautiful, but it's definitely one of those that, you know, blush with caution <laughs> because that would probably be super pigmented. I'm sure these are beautiful. I'm sure the formula is nice. Um, I, I don't know that I wanna pay Pat McGrath prices for pink plastic packaging. Is it plastic or is it metal? I don't know. It, it really is giving like, color pop units <laughs> like the component itself I'm sorry um, but the the colors are pretty but yeah no eh, not really I've been a huge fan of the Danessa Myricks um, yummy skin blushing balms or I don't know the, the the blushes the ones that come in the small pans that are kind of like that upsolite cream to powder formula love those I've got a couple of those they're beautiful she just came out with skin low lighters now, I don't know if there's a shade here for me yet, but these look so interesting. A light reflected tinted balm to powder formula that blurs, gives a soft focus, does not amplify texture, and you can use the shades anywhere on the face, eyes or lips. Yeah. Now, I did get one of the Vision Flush Glows last year when she came out with those and didn't like it. And to me, it was one of those products that instantly disappeared on the skin like 20 minutes later. Wait, where are you? Uh, so that didn't work for me. I love, I have one of the first Lightwork palettes. I think it's Lightwork 1 where they're all powder highlights. Stunning, gorgeous, glorious. Love it. I either love or have an epic fail with the Nessa Myricks products. Either it's like the best thing ever, oh my goodness, or it's like not for me. But the one thing that I feel like Danessa brings all the time is innovation. There are products that she creates that are so different from anything else. And then the minute she comes out with it, remember her infinite chrome flakes that came in those pretty little jars with the little silver lids? Uh, Essence is making those now. A lot of other people are coming out with these really pretty multi-chrome kind of glittery, like a lot of brands are doing things. She'll do something and um, I start seeing it other places. I really, really love a lot of the products I have from Danessa Myrick. Um, I, I like the skin tint. I like her um, multi-chrome eye pencils. Um, I love her light work palettes. Um, there's a lot of, the, the blushes are good. Man, she makes some really interesting and innovative products. This is interesting. I'm wondering if the lightest shade, kind of like the pink shade, would be the shade for me, but I would love like a, this formula, but in a light champagne shade, because we've got some beautiful other colors, but maybe there's not a shade for me yet. But if I feel like if I ever see that pink one in person and I swatch it, it may have to come home with me if it works because I don't want a glowy blush. I already have that. I want this as a highlight because I love the finish of this. I love how well it stays when I'm either using the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm powder 
or um, the blushes, they stay so well. And they really do help to kind of perfect and blur all the pores on my skin. So this in a highlight, the older I get, the more I want something that's not gonna accentuate any sort of texture. It's gonna minimize the look of, of you know, anything and blur it a little bit. Yeah, this looks really, really interesting. Um, should be here May 6th, so I don't know. There are some new products from About Face. These looked really interesting to me. But I don't know that any of these are things that I'm instantly going to need. I, I feel like there are products here that my kids would love, but I have been intrigued by and trying more things from About Face. Um, I love their, um, what is it, their lip color butter. These are nice. Um, I'm trying their foundation. Um, I have their lip liners. I mean, they, they make some really interesting, fun things, and I feel like at that kind of higher end drugstore price, their products are really quality. So these look interesting. They have um, holographic eye paints for $18. They have fractal eye glitter paints for $16. Now the one thing that looked really interesting to me is the light lock highlighting fluid. Do I need it? No. Do I already have stuff like this? Yes. <laughs> this looks like it's trying to be kind of like a high-end drugstore version of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Like, I feel like, you know, Elf has duped it. Um, you can find these sorts of glowy drops from, you know, high-end brands like Dior came out with one recently. Um, a lot of brands are doing things like this. Lisa Eldridge has a liquid highlighter. And these are those that come in kind of like this type of bottle with the big chunky doe foot. Um, you know, like this, it, they, they look interesting and they have some really pretty shades. So if I were to see these in store, I might pick one up, but I don't really need, I don't need this to me though, is more interesting than the elf halo glow, whatever their glowy liquid is. I don't, I don't like that. And I think the reason I don't like it is because I never really fell in love with the Charlotte Tilbury. Hollywood Flawless Filter. Like the e.l.f. one is supposed to be a dupe and I'm like, I don't like the original. I don't think I want to try the e.l.f. This looks interesting. I don't, and I don't know, maybe it's the rectangular packaging, the big silver cap. I don't know. I don't know. This looks beautiful. This looks luxe, but it doesn't, I, I feel like it's giving more than what it's charging for. This could very easily be high end. I love this kind of rectangular packaging. One of my kids has a couple of the eye paints. Man, I'm really impressed with About Face. I feel like About Face is doing in my mind what Fenty has done, what um, Rare Beauty has done. And I know those are all brands that are created by, you know, a celebrity. And I don't mind celebrity brands, but when I see Florence by Mills, I still see Millie Bobby Brown and go, yeah. Are you an expert in makeup? No. <laughs> are you building your brand? Yeah. But I feel like everything that I've tried from About Face is actually Man, I've been, I've been kind of impressed. I feel like things work really well and I like the types of products that they have. Um, so I think if anything, I would get this uh, liquid highlighter fluid. They do have some new false eyelashes. I'm not a fa false eyelash kind of girly, but I could see my kids liking the glitter paints and the fractal eye paints and I would be going for this liquid highlight. Um, so don't, don't be surprised. Anyway, I think it's really cool. Last thing I wanted to talk about, this one kind of made me go, Oh, wait, what? <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of brands that are doing fragrance as well as like makeup. I get that. Totally, totally get it. But it's interesting for me when a brand that was developed by a pro makeup artist and has done so well comes out with fragrance. And I think it's basically we sold the brand, somebody else owns the brand, let's expand the brand and use the name to sell more stuff. That's kind of what I'm feeling because Charlotte Tilbury has new fragrances. These are the fragrance collection of emotions. Okay, according to the brand, Charlotte's new collection allows you to spray on a feeling and manifest magic with the power of scent. Okay, I, I know, when we smell things, it triggers memories. It, it, it is a very strong, our, it's one of our strongest senses. Like our sense of smell is so important. But this whole thing, you know, the fragrances are powered by emotion boosting molecules. What's an emotion boosting molecule? I don't know. So they're kind of telling us that 
The human sense of smell is, of course, directly linked to our brain. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, but Charlotte has bottled up the worlds of love, happiness, sex, energy, empowerment, and calm. So there's six fragrances. First of all, hate the packaging. These, no, I don't like, I don't like that they're all the same. And of course they're all going to be the same bottle, but different colors. But for me, like the sacred heart on the love frequency or the lips with all of the, you know, rays rating out from it for more sex or the um, magic energy with the star and the rays going out. No, I don't know. It just, I don't like it. Um, I don't mind the colors so much, but I think I would like them better if they were kind of more kind of pastel, but these are very bright jewel tones. Like there's a red, there's a green, there's like a kind of a cobalt purple. There, there are colors here. Now I think that's just the bottle, but I don't really like the bottle. I don't like the look of the lid or the stopper. Beyond that, the names like Joyphoria, Cosmic Power, Magic energy. I don't know. This, this kind of seems like, have you ever seen those ads from like 120 years ago where people are trying to sell something, you know, this one cure all will be kind of, you know, it'll do everything. It'll take care of all of your ills. It'll help you grow more hair. It'll help you lose weight. <laughs> I, I know that that's not what this is selling, but this is giving me those vibes like those old ads in the paper or somebody in their little wagon, you know, selling from town to town. Here's here's my cure all. And 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 it's it's really the names and the marketing. The marketing being that it's going to bottle up the world of love, happiness, sex, energy, empowerment and calm and immerse you with that by just spraying it. <laughs> okay. I know that's a really strong opinion. These just don't call to me, not even at all. This to me though feels like whichever parent company bought Charlotte Tilbury, and I don't know which big beauty brand owns them now, they're making money because Charlotte Tilbury is a luxury brand that sells. And a lot of people love Charlotte products. I, I like a lot of Charlotte products, but this right here seemed like it came out of left field and these aren't gonna do it for me, I don't know. I'm also, I like fragrance, but I don't know that I could handle looking at one of these bottles, no matter how delicious it smelled on my countertop with the names like Joyphoria or Calm Bliss. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop there. I feel like I got a little too heavy there at the end. Sorry. <laughs> but this, this fragrance thing, I, I don't know. I love fragrance. I wear perfume every day. Um, I, I'm not as adventurous with my fragrance as I am with my makeup or other things, but I'll tell you, this just was like, oh, it was a swing and a miss, darling. <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. Here's where I want to know. Now, did I talk about everything that's new? No. There's a lot of stuff that's out there that I'm like, not interested, not interested. So, so I was picking the ones like this one and the benefit one, like, who asked for this? And then other ones that I'm like, hmm like the YSL, their butter bombs. Anyway, let me know what has been catching your eye. What is exciting to you? Um, I, I just feel like there's a lot of eh, right now. I, I want to know though, is there anything that's really pulling you in? Um, and if you have any recommendations for me, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day. I'll see you again soon.